Blossom, you're not that tired, are you? Pregnancy? When will this pregnancy end? We're on season two, episode 17 of Cry Baby Whims. And we're here with Little Oak, who's eating some tiramisu. Oh, he's all done already. It is winter, and as you can see, we've decorated for Winterfest. We've got Ivy out here who's looking super, super cute. Man, I feel like I haven't seen this family in so long. I've missed them a lot. What we have planned for today is it is actually Winter's Eve. We have a few more days left of winter, and it's all the holidays that are packed into the end of winter as well. There's Winter's Eve, there's Winterfest tomorrow, and then it's New Year's Eve. What we've decided is that we are going to be going on vacation and it actually is a part of the Winter's Eve activities. So what Blossom wants to do is she wants to take everyone on vacation, but she does have an ulterior motive. And her ulterior motive is that, you know, she's been working hard to try and bring Peter back. And to do that, she has learned that there is a recipe that she can make. It requires level 10 of the gourmet cooking skill. There is a recipe called Ambrosia. Ambrosia can bring a ghost back to life or reset the age of a living sim. And it requires an angelfish, a potion of youth, and a death flower. So last episode, we were growing our death flower. We managed to grow it. And we have the points now to get the Potion of Youth as well, but we still need an angelfish. And I was looking where angelfish live. They actually don't live in this world. So Blossom has an ulterior motive for this vacation. She does, of course, want to have a special holiday with her family. You know, she wants to honor hers and Peter's memories of traveling with her two kids now that they're sort of old enough and I think she's out of survival mode out of just you know doing her best to take care of them and keep them alive but she also wants to go to a world where she can fish for angelfish <laughs> so she does want to be able to get the final ingredient for her recipe so that's what we're going to be doing today and for our vacation, we are going to bring Oliver and Stephanie. So they are Peter's parents. And part of the reason why she wants to bring them is because she does plan on bringing their son back. I don't know if we'll be able to do it today because I don't know how easy it will be to get an angelfish, given how badly we want one. But we're going to try. So let's head out on vacation. We're going to be going to this Yuma Heights home. I hope we have the money for this, by the way. How much money? Oh, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, but we do want money for a renovation. Anyways. We're going to go for, I'm going to do four days, but I think we only want to stay three. And this is where we're going to celebrate Winterfest and also where we're going to fish. I did sort of decorate a little bit for Winterfest in here. I did put a tree here that we can decorate. I think out back there's like a nice pool and stuff. And then there's a little play area here for the kids. So there's a nice big kitchen and sunny dining area with two high chairs. There is an office space as well. Not that we really need an office space, but anyways, it's there. There's a garage sort of gym area. So we have two toddler bedrooms here and there's toddler toys in there that the kids can play with. And then there's two bedrooms as well. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to assign this room to Oliver and Stephanie. And then Blossom will sleep in this Murphy bed, which, you know, hopefully will go well. And then the twins, of course, will, will each sleep in their toddler beds. I think while the kids explore, I think for Blossom, I just want to see if there's any fishing nearby. I think we might need to go to one of the other areas for fishing. Yeah, okay. So we can't film from this house. We're going to have to travel to do that. So why don't we come and decorate the tree? Let's do the ornaments. We'll do the ornaments all together. Let's do blue and white because this is a very like blue and white house. So they can all come and do that together. I guess the twins are too young to do this, but maybe they can come and like hang out in here or something. I haven't had Blossom purchase her potion yet, but I did get her some reward points so that she is able to purchase it. And how I did that was I just clicked through aspirations and she actually was already able to anything that was, you know, get skill to a certain level, make a certain amount of money or whatever. She actually got a lot of points just by me clicking through each aspiration. And so I was able to get us up to the potion of youth, which is 1500. She is now able to purchase that. So really all that we need to get now is the angelfish. We'll still try and make this a fun, memorable trip for the kids. We don't know, you know, how long it will take us to get this angelfish. And 
of course, you know, Blossom herself probably doesn't know 100% if this will work. I think she still wants to make this trip special for the twins anyways, because I don't think she knows anyone else who's ever tried to bring a sim back to life before. I mean, I don't know anyone who's ever tried to do that. Ivy is over here. She's, what is she doing? Yeah, she's hitting the stuff. All she does is hit these animals. She never like talks to them, to the stuffed animals. She always just hits them. It's so funny. I feel like Oliver really enjoys decorating, which doesn't really surprise me. Stephanie here, she's just kind of enjoying the festive spirit. But Oliver is really like he has not stopped since we started. We've like moved on to the tree skirt, but he's still just doing the baubles. He's like, no, it needs more. All right, let's put some presents under the tree so we're ready for tomorrow. There's lots and lots of presents for everyone. Let's sing a little song just to help, you know, really make things feel festive. This house is really bright. Like it's there's a lot of lights in here. I kind of feel like we could tone the lights back a little. But anyways, we're going to sing. And then how are the kids doing? Oak could probably go to bed. Ivy is really OK. I think once we're done with our singing, I think a blossom will go to bed. Oh, <laughs> look, Ivy's playing with her grandma. Oh, that's so cute. The twins have got little festive PJs that I gave them. But let's have Blossom come over here. We'll put the bed down and hopefully this goes well. But even if it doesn't, she has a death flower in her inventory now. Even if it were to try to kill her, it wouldn't be able to succeed. Oh, nice. It's, it's remote control, actually. All right, let's um, assign to a Blossom so she knows where she's sleeping. And then I'm going to have her go to bed. Maybe we can have Oak. Oh, Asked to be put to bed. And then look, she can see she can kick her grandma. Because <laughs> she doesn't know her very well. Look at how cute little Oak is. He's got such a precious little face. She's like, please, will someone put me to bed? I think my mom's already gone to bed. <laughs> LOL, don't kick grandma. It was like right after we ended the stream. I gave them makeovers. And then as soon as I was out of the makeover, she just kicked her grandpa and was like, Ivy is an aggressive toddler. And I was like, I didn't even know that that was a possible quirk. So I do think that the toddler quirks, like they are consistent. Oh, they got a sentiment together. I do think they're consistent from when the babies are infants to when they're toddlers. And they do seem to keep them consistent also with whatever their traits are. So I actually think that's really cool. All right. So she's off to take a shower. We'll get her ready. And I do think that we're going to take her fishing. Maybe we can have a quick meal, have a little bit of oatmeal. Good way to start the day. And then we're going to go and do some early morning fishing. And it's winter fast, so we can't go for too long. Let's see. Yeah, grand meal, open presents, father winter, festive spirit, and holiday ceremony. So we should still have time to do all of that once we're done. Let's travel. And I think the best place to go fishing, I believe, in Oasis Springs is you want to travel to this place, this park. We're just going to go on our own. When you come to Oasis Springs, there's like a little pool somewhere. And that one tends to have, I think, a lot of rare fish. Yeah, it's this one. And it looks like there would be nothing here. But when you actually fish, you'll find some rare fish in it. Let's see. What can we see in the water? Yeah, this little shallow pool ended up having like, I think we caught a, I don't know, there's like a death fish or something like that. We caught some, we caught some really interesting fish in this one, I remember. So I did work a little bit on her fishing skill, but I didn't think to change it to this aspiration. So I think she's like level five now or something. Oh, she's level four. Another cowberry plant, a uh, cowberry, cowberry plant. We definitely do not want that. <laughs> but we did get salmon. I think that those fish are kind of difficult to get. So that's a good sign for us. Look how many pomegranate we have. We have like 7 billion. <gasps> she dislikes fishing. No thanked in plankton. Blossom isn't enjoying her time cast with all these slippery scaly things. You know what? I think that's fine. She can dislike fishing, but she's not doing it because she likes it. She's doing it because she has a reason to be doing it. So this is going to make it a little bit harder, I think. Let's just try and go fishing a little bit longer. We're going to go fishing for like one more hour. So I think it just like shows her love of Peter, the fact that she's fishing, even though she doesn't like it. Are they only available in certain locations? Yes, they're only available in specific pools. I know Oasis Springs is definitely one of the worlds they're available in. 
but I didn't check if they're in available in a specific pool. Let's examine the water and see if she notes anything. I'll also check our little notebook here. Yeah, we only know about those four fish so far. Blossom sees unrecognizable shapes moving beneath the surface of the water. This looks like an excellent spot for fishermen of Blossom's caliber to try their luck with some difficult catches. All right, we're going to head home. Like I thought angelfish might be somewhere in the fancy neighborhood in Oasis Springs, like the water near the Calientes. I can't remember if I'm making that up. It could be. So which one is the Calientes? Because I don't think they're in this version, is it? But they would be in this area, I believe, right? So we can try fishing there tomorrow. All right, we're going to head back and we're going to make, you know, we'll make like a ham or something for everyone to eat. What is this? Like a burger? Does somebody make burgers or something? Oh, look, Stephanie's making a bunch of food. I'm actually going to put it away, though, because we need to eat our grand meal. I don't want the kids eating that. Ashton spread some juicy gossip about Ivy. He spread gossip to her about her own daughter. She's a toddler. What kind of gossip is there to spread about a toddler? Oh my gosh. These Sims, they're so funny. Okay, so we're gonna have our ham dinner. We need to open presents. And if we have time, we'll go to a holiday ceremony, which Blossom does love to do. So I wanna try and do it for her sake. All right, let's call everyone to come and eat some ham. Ring our little bell. The twins are asleep, but I'll make sure that they'll come and get some once they wake up. Awesome is going to sit here with Stephanie. It's still kind of cold, even though they're in the desert, which I guess deserts do get cold, especially at night. But Oliver, <laughs> Oliver is not cold. <laughs> he decided to go for a swim and now he's all wet, but he's still sitting in his trunks. Oh, look at them all chat like a little happy family. I would have loved to have invited Timothy on this vacation too, but we didn't have a place for him to sleep because Timothy, I don't think he ever remarried after Willow. I actually thought he would remarry and Willow would maybe stay single, but Willow ended up getting remarried and I don't think Timothy had... Oh my gosh, Ashton had another kid, Rodolfo. Rodolfo, Troy, and Chester. So he's got three sons. Oh, and they got married with Megan. They're married now because the line is pink. Did anyone else get married? It looks like Courtney has a few. Oh, she married Akira and she has two kids. And then, of course, Mabel is married to Miley and she has Skylar, which we know. But yeah, interesting. Timothy never ended up getting remarried. I'm going to go to a holiday ceremony. It looks like Blossom actually, I was going to say, I'll just probably send Blossom on her own and the grandparents can stay with the toddlers. But I didn't even have the option to invite anyone with her. So she's off to do that on her own because it is her favorite part of Winterfest. The twins can stay with their grandparents. They don't need to go anywhere. I guess we'll hire a nanny. I don't want them to leave. But the toddlers are still in their PJs. Nobody's dressed them. <laughs> oh, man. Can we dress ourselves? Are we able to do that? Yeah, let's put on some cute little overalls. And then for Ivy, what do we have that you can dress yourself in? Put your little green outfit on because it's a special day. I think Ivy needs to nap again. So maybe we'll do that while Blossom is away. When she comes back, we'll open our presents. Look at how cute they are lying together. Aw, they're such cute little babies. I think I say this every time I have toddlers, but I'm always like, these are absolutely the cutest toddlers I've ever seen in my game. And look, grandpa's napping with them too. It looks like he's tanned. I think he tanned while he was here. <laughs> he's really enjoying this vacation. He's just living it up, tanning, swimming doing all that stuff. Oh my gosh, Oak has learned to communicate in sign language with others. How did you do that, Oak? Oh my gosh, are you a genius? Did you just like watch, watch a little bit of sign language on an iPad and now you know? How did he learn sign language? He's like two years old. All right, Blossom is home. Oh, whoa, how did she get up to bed without me noticing? Uh, let's come downstairs and do some presents. Blossom, you're not that tired, are you? Pregnancy? When will this pregnancy end? Blossom. Are you pregnant? Oh, is there a baby in there? What did you do, Blossom? She's on birth control, first of all. It says that she's pregnant. Do we want her to be pregnant, though? I really wasn't planning on her having any more kids because I feel like, first of all, the twins were just enough for, for us. I feel like that was enough babies enough infant experience for blossom yeah so not only that but like i mean she she did have woohoo with peter's ghost so but that would mean that she got pregnant with a ghost how willing are we to stretch 
reality in this game. I mean, we are, we are, a ghost is helping to raise our kids and we are bringing a sim back to life. Are we okay with getting pregnant by a ghost? The only woohoo that I'm aware she's had is with Peter's ghost. If you have a ton of kids, I just think it might be dual income time. <laughs> I mean, like Peter is going to come back at some point. So that will be a possibility for sure to have two incomes. But the thing is, this baby might come before we bring Peter back, which means it will have been an entirely like pregnancy that occurred after his death. We have a lot riding on his resurrection. Yeah, no, we, we will bring Peter back no matter what. Okay, Blossom, you need to get up. Thank you. We're going to do a little bit of fishing to take our mind off things. Let's fish with our, our cow plant berry. So there it is. It's official. We are pregnant. I mean, luckily she's got her geriatric shoes on today, which is going to help with the load that she's carrying here. Oh, did she catch another fish? <gasps> look at the fish, look at the fish that we caught. Look at the fish that we just caught. Look at the fish that we just caught. <laughs> I'm like hitting my face. I'm so excited. Look, it's an angel fish. We just caught an angel fish. We literally just started fishing here, Flood. You knew. You knew. Look, there's another one in the water there. I see its little tail. Oh my God, it happened. We can bring Peter back today. Oh my gosh, I'm going to cry. I'm so excited. I've never heard you make that noise. I don't think I've ever heard myself make that noise. I'm so excited. I did not think we were going to catch an angel fish today. I did not. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we can bring Peter back. Oh my gosh. We did it. We got our angel fish. It better not go bad. Maybe we should go home and cook it right away. Yeah, let's do that. Kids, mom's getting you the best Christmas present you could have ever thought of. <laughs> you have no idea what's about to happen. I better not mess this up. We need this potion of youth. So first things first, where's the urn? Did I not put it in Blossom's inventory? Oh yeah, here it is. All right, so first things first, we need to call forth Peter's ghost. So now that Peter is here, let's come over and talk to him a little bit. Maybe we'll share him some photos and be like, Peter, you know, we've missed you so much and the kids have missed you, but look at how much they've been growing. Peter, look, like look at our kids. And guess what? We actually have another one on the way. How you ask? I don't know. But the kids really miss you. I really miss you. Sure, like have... A cocktail, I guess. Let's share about the pregnancy. We're like, we just learned that we're having another baby. And you know what, Peter? Like, I've been doing my best to raise these two kids without you. But I know that I'm not living up to what a mother should be. And I, I don't want to have another kid without you. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to go here. And we're going to invite Peter into our household. So it'll be like, Peter, come back. You've accepted death at this point. but we need you. Your family needs you. Please come and be a part of this family again. <gasps> Achievement ghostly. Peter, he's going to get his legs. Here he is. He is a part of the family. He has his needs. And look at this. He's excited about the addition to the family. Peter and his partner are going to have a child. Lots of responsibilities involved, but they'll figure it out. So Peter's feeling confident, you know. Being a ghost is not going to stop him. He's like... I am ready to take on the responsibilities of a parenthood, even without form. I am very excited for this. They're sharing a cocktail. They're cheersing to it. They're cheersing to the new year and to the new them. But Blossom is going to take this one step further. She is like, I'm going to make you the best breakfast you've ever tasted. You've never tasted anything like this. It's baked Alaska. And he's like, isn't that a dessert? And she's like, wait, is that what I'm making? What am I making? I am making baked Alaska. That's not what I want to make. <laughs> Hang on. Wait, where's Ambrosia? Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh my gosh. Sorry. I just panicked. I was like, where is it? I'm not making baked Alaska. I am making a very special recipe. It's one I found on Pinterest, but you have no idea what you're in for. It's going to be such a treat. She better not eat this once it's made. I have to keep an eye on her. <laughs> I don't want her to eat it. This is for Peter. It better turn out. We only have one angelfish. I mean, we can always go back and get another, but 
I didn't think that sounded right, but I trusted you knew the way. <laughs> I was speaking with such confidence and I just said the wrong thing that we're making. All right, here it is. Blossom, do not eat this. Look at it. <laughs> He's feeling confident. He's like, I don't know, you know, what this is, but Blossom seems to feel pretty confident things are going to turn out well. So you know what? I'm confident too. All right, Peter. How is it tasting? Why is it taking you so long to eat this? Oh my gosh, he's finished it. Okay, and what's going on? Oh my goodness, what is happening? Peter. Oh, Peter is back to being alive and he's like, oh yeah, look at me. I'm alive again. Woo woo. How amazing. Can he come over and say hi to his mom and dad? Oh, this is so exciting. Come on and reminisce about family memories. Are they going to be happy to see him? It feels like they don't even seem to like. They're like, oh, yeah, he's back to life, whatever. But this is so exciting. Look at how I'm walking over, though. Peter knows. Peter's feeling very confident. And he's probably so excited to go and, like, hug his kids. What's going on? Did Peter's dad just flirt with Blossom right in front of him as soon as he came back to life? Maybe he didn't realize Peter was in the room yet. And that's made Peter jealous. Peter was cheated on by someone he cared for and is in a jealous rage. How will he ever trust again? NVT. Oh my gosh, this family literally, like, I try to make things happy. And what's the first thing that happens? Our father-in-law flirts with us, and now our husband has a new jealous trait, and he's in a rage. Oh my goodness. Well, Peter, that was not the homecoming I don't think that you were expecting. Why is Oliver able to flirt with us? He's our father-in-law. That's so gross. But Peter's going to come upstairs and just come and, like, come and say hi to your kids. Let's focus on that. Holidays are getting weird. So... Yeah, but Peter's back to life. We did it. Can you believe it? I cannot believe it. Now, unfortunately, there are going to be some changes. So Peter coming back is not without consequences. It's just the way that things have to be. So we are going to take Peter into cast and we are going to have to make a few changes to him. It's not all going to be sunshine and rainbows from here. I think I'm going to end the episode here. So for everyone on YouTube, I hope you're as excited as I am. Clearly, I'm so excited that Peter is back. Please like the episode if you're enjoying the series and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss an episode. I will definitely show you next time what happened with Peter. And look at this. Oliver's trying to make it up to his wife now. He's like, no, you saw nothing. That was, I was just joking. Oh,